you were at the suicide bridge guys and today we're going to be setting up some gopros the main gopros coming here the one with all the mic set up and stuff like that is anybody here what was that noise i'm gonna set the second gopro up on this little overpass right here facing the creek was there someone out there turning it on now testing testing i think i'm gonna set a gopro up on this Overpass facing the trail. There's somebody above us, Dude, bro. we can't worry about that. The, I'm like, not gonna have someone jump. Why is there like... Yo, we're out. Go, 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 go. Yo, baby, what is poppin'? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Right now, you guys are all waiting to see the GoPro footage. I have the footage loading up right now on my phone. It's live footage, and I'm in my car only a few streets down from the suicide bridge. Paul went home because he has to be up early in the morning, but me, I decided I'm gonna chill here with the Duffies for a second and go through this footage and see if anything happens. I'm loading up the feed right now. We gonna get this money, baby. Make sure you hit that sub button. I love you. Yo, oh my God. Someone is walking down this, the train tracks. Why? Why is this person walking at like three o'clock in the morning down the train tracks? Dude, I don't, I'm... That's a normal person. That's not no demon. I'm not liking this at all. I don't know who is listening or if a god is real. Yo, I can talk on this thing too. You think it's worth the, you think it's worth a shot where I can talk to this guy? He's I doubt he's going to hear what the voice coming through a GoPro. But if anyone can hear me, these are my last words I want to leave on this earth. I don't have many people who will mourn for me. But for the few still here, please do not cry for me as I cried enough for myself. No one will ever understand the pain that I feel deep inside my chest. People tell me. Time heals everything, but time only deepens my wounds. The more I move forward, the more I hurt, the more days I count, the more people I lose, the more minutes that go by, the more helpless I become. I must end the dreadful path now before things get worse. I am so, so sorry for everyone that I may hurt, and I'm sorry, Lord, for the failure I have become with the potential that you've given me. The only thing lower than the place I am now is the end of this rope below me. I won't fail this time. I'm sure of it. Hey man, think about this before you do something bigger than you think. Think about all the pain you leave behind in the world if you pull through with it, man. What about your family? What about your friends? All that. If you don't want to live, at least at least live for them. I don't have many friends and the ones I do have are stronger than I am. This will only hurt shortly for them until they move on. If I continue to live, my pain will never stop. Hey, what about your pops? What about your family? Surely they can't endure the pain of you doing this right now. If you left them, they cannot endure that pain. Think about them. Don't have much family. They all died before me and I'm only 12 years old. And I watched everyone die one by one. I had everything I loved get taken from me. And the hardest part about it is I never sacrificed what I lost. It was just taken from me. Hey, listen, bro, I don't know you, but I feel you on like a different level. Even without friends or family, there is love all around you. Me and you can relate and losing you actually hurts me, whether I know you or not. 
So please, bro. No, you don't know me. You don't know shit. You might feel some pain, but you don't know how it feels deep inside my stomach. You don't know what replays in my head or what aches my heart. You don't know unless you lived in my shoes, even if you experienced the same exact events. You still will just not understand unless you understand my pain. Listen, you're right and I can't argue that. I know I feel pain, but I don't know yours. And that's a fact. But the best part about that is that you are you. You are you. You walk a very rough path because you're learning the roughest lessons. You hear me? You are becoming a strong man before you become a man. Instead of looking at the bad, try to just look at how much you're growing. I was forced to say bye to my dad and watch him die slowly, multiple times. The doctor said he won't make it. It's a miracle. He's a walking zombie. He's a very small hourglass running out of time. Faster than seconds, my mom raised me lonely and worked 80 hours a week. I'm always home alone and I have no one to talk to. My siblings are brutal. My brother, my brother, he's just, he's an addict. My sister is bullied and she's running from home. The man who raised me is in prison and my grandparents are all dead. My uncle just died and my cousins are in heaven. I walk, I walk a very lonely road. My only friend is inside of my head. I'm sure if I died, then I'm just better off dead. Yo, I feel that, but you can learn from mistakes of the people around you. Instead of getting sad, just look around you and learn the lessons that God is blessing you with every day. Don't do drugs or be like your brother. Support your mother and help ease her pain. Appreciate your pops for the life that he gave you and thank God that he was here to show you what not to do. See man, life is like a yin yang. There's always a little good where there is a lot of bad and there's always a little bit of bad where there is a lot of good. God blessed you with these hardships so he can teach you at a young age. Your dad might die soon, so it's time to act grown. The greatest lessons in life come at your absolute lowest, man. And from what it looks like, you're at your lowest. You're only 12 years old, but you're still wiser than most people triple your age. That's a blessing. I just want to play and not worry about this. I don't want to worry about this. Why does everything I do always have a bad consequence? I don't get it. I'm a good kid. I don't deserve this. My life is just a great big ball of shit. And I don't think if there is a God, he would do this to me. God isn't a man who rules in the clouds. You hear me on this thing? He doesn't tell you what to do or set out your path. What he can do is fill your heart with his love. He can teach you the gospel and how to live peaceful. Find the lessons in everything you go through. Toughen your skin and protect you from the evil. He does all that. He teaches you things that a book cannot teach you. His spirit lives within you and he's working his magic. Please trust his process because you are his warrior. Your friends cannot handle the path that you walk. You're the chosen one, special enough to walk the hardest path and be one of the wisest men among you. Please do not compare yourself to the people around you who look happy. Love yourself for who you are and who you will become. I do kind of get it, but what if after all this, after everything that's going on right now, I still won't want to live this life. What if I'm not really cut out for all of these tough lessons? What if my life continues to go downhill and I'm a failure? 
over and over and over and over and over again. See, bro, you don't get it yet. Failure is not a bad thing. Remember, there is good in everything. Change the way you think and you'll be happy. I promise, even when things are bad, remember the good. Look a little deeper and tell me what happens when you fail. I'm not good at school. I don't know this question. I'm, I'm not as smart as you think I am. Not as tough as you think I am. I think you have the wrong kid. Just let me go. Let me jump and let me die, okay? Leave me alone. See, man, you're still thinking corrupt. You're speaking negative about this whole situation. Yo, yo, do you hear me on this thing? I don't know how good the GoPro is, but just listen, okay? Failure can teach you what not to do. Success comes from a staircase of failures. It's up to you to use those failures as a wall to either close yourself in or a staircase built to success. The brain works in funny ways. Whatever you spew out loud, you will start to become. Treat people with kindness and love who you are. The problem is not the world. You hear me? The problem is not the world. It's just lack of gospel. God lives in us all. Every one of us. He lives in us all. And we corrupt it with these negative thoughts that you're thinking right now. Feel him run through you and keep standing tall, bro. Keep standing tall. Learn to smile and turn your pain into passion. Learn to take the negative energy and turn it into positive energy and endure the pain and become the absolute beast. Best man you can be, bro. All these failures about to make you, make you the greatest thing you can be. I'm serious, man. I've been through the same thing. You can't, you can't just let yourself down and be a victim to everything that, that's happening to you. You need to overcome that and use it as lessons. Use it, use it to build your armor and be great, man. I don't know who you are and I don't know what you see. I don't even know where you are. But I'm at the point in my life where I really needed to hear this. It's not my life that's hard, but it's my thoughts that are drowning my, my thoughts. Even through all the bad, the good is even greater. Changing the way I think and changing the way I see can also change the outcome of my life. Why, why, why has no one, no one teaches this? No one teaches this to us kids. They just scream in our face to be better at this and better at that. If only more kids can hear what I just heard. You just saved my life only by using your words. No one does teach this because we are drowning ourselves with the opinions and the expectations of others. Instead of pursuing our passion and love, we are comparing ourselves and grow envious and guilty. We slave ourselves for the acceptance of others we don't think the right way. The world is not terrible. The way people think is terrible. And one man does teach this, but not with his words. He teaches you through life, the lessons you learned your entire life until now, has been God talking to you and showing you the way. So why, why did he just tell me instead of making me go through all this pain? Because you even said so yourself. You will never understand until you understand the pain. But when I grow old, am I still gonna feel this pain? The pain from my past can always come back and stab me. The best part about it is it no longer hurts me. Most people in life just put a wall on their past and never want to look back at it. Instead, people need to learn how to embrace who they are and what they have overcome. Instead of falling victim to the things that you have gone through, wear it on your sleeve. Sometimes you need to revisit your past and stare it straight into the face and just let your younger self know that everything is going to be okay.